Welcome back to a, another live. This one is a third one, final one. <laughs> Three lives in a row, man. I will not be going live after this for a while. <laughs> Three lives in a row. Yeesh. And honestly, I do have a pretty packed schedule this week. Level Mind, do you want to hop on live? I was just talking about you in, I think, the first live, a little bit about frequency breathers. If you want to tap in real quick before we tap into like a mini session here. Still in my beautiful island DR, I am not. I am back at home base in Miami. See a lot of familiar faces here. Oh snap, sisters coming. Hello, sister. Hey. <laughs> What's good? It's been a while. I haven't seen you like since last year. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. Yeah, it's been a little minute. How are you? How are you feeling today? I'm electric. Birthday month is it's it's grooving. It's growing. It's going. <laughs> yeah, the DR looked like a dream. It looks so magical. Yeah, have you ever been? Not yet. <laughs> I like that. That's hey guys, learn. She's spitting gems here. Even I hope she knows it. She's spitting gems. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, in divine timing, I planned a visit. It looked like such a such a fun time. Yeah, if you if you re if um whenever you plan to go, let us know. We'll we'll definitely love to ride with you for sure. <laughs> and vice versa, if you ever head back, like <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will. <laughs> um, so so what you got here? One size fits all breath patterns. I just hopped in. Oh, okay. Um, well, I was talking about a lot. The first one I was talking about, uh, shoot. Uh, well, we can just dive into the breath patterns. Uh, a lot of people like to say, all right, this type of diet will help you. This type of diet will help you. This type of lifestyle will help you. But in hindsight, it's really the breath that is doing uh, the main healing, so to speak. Because when you get lighter on certain foods, it's easier to breathe, right? Yeah. It's easier to breathe. Absolutely. And that comes with responsibility as well because there's a lot of people, this water priestess, I was just talking with her a couple of days ago and she made a great point of pointing this out where some people will go on different types of fasts and stuff and they end up in the same repetitive cycle over and over or even something even more worse, you know? And it, it, made, it, it, brought, it pushed me back a little bit. I'm like, oh, snap. Well... Uh, when you're fasting, depending on how you breathe, it it's going to impact you at a deeper level. So mm -hmm. if, if, <laughs> if you're breathing in a more sympathetic style or mouth breathing in that sense during those type of fasts, it's, it's going to leave an impact in your mental patterns at a deeper level. It, it's so subtle, right? Mm -hmm. Your experience is so subtle, uh, all, of our, all, of, all of our experience in general, but it's so subtle, but yet... When it hits you, it, it hits you. And that's when you really have to be like, wow, I went from this to this. And like, what's happening? Goodness. That, and that's so true. And that's that's a big key of like why focusing on the food aspect can be more, can do more harm than good sometimes. Because if you instead focus like on the breath pattern, on your mental habits, like, your consumption on the more like subtle level like the way that you're breathing then the food will tend to take care of itself exactly but. they have um i like to bring up how they have uh certain yogis in india and africa where um i don't know why people do this but people will bring like um 
at like powdered animal cocaine or whatever and give it to them and nothing happens to them because they're on a certain vibratory resonance like oh this is not doing anything to me <laughs> right now right <laughs> yeah. yeah in uh in ram das's book be here now he tells a story about you know going to india and like um he brought like a vial of liquid lsd with him and he gave like a full dropper full to his guru and it nothing happened <laughs> <laughs> Like, he, he, he was like, what, what is this? Like, he, <laughs> he didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, I remember, um, uh, well, I want to also want to tap into, oh, yeah, your frequency. You, you're, one, you're one of the first people to have the frequency breathers. Do you want to share how many, how many months has it been? <laughs> share my experience or should, should i put them on? <laughs> yeah if you want if you want to put them on <laughs> oh she's gonna put them on <laughs> she got it hanged up <laughs> hold on hold on okay okay gotta plug in <laughs> I don't think there's a way to put them on gracefully. <laughs> not, not well. The new, the new ones, yeah. You can just like stick them in. But uh, Victoria here is actually one of uh, the faces of Frequency Breathers. I'm gonna be posting more pictures, but yes, she's one of the faces. <laughs> uh, our our main point was to really push out uh, the Dune theme because they have the the same almost the same thing in there. Yeah, they have like the the nose thing. Oh, the the people don't know Spice Breather. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first name I, I came up with, Spice Breather. But at the same time, I'm like, well, not everyone's going to watch Dune, so. So I just think it's something to do with, like, drugs. <laughs> yeah. It, or, or in that context, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so my experience, the first time using them... I think was like the group session that we did at the retreat where we all wore them like I had put them on for the photo shoot maybe a little before that but yeah we did a group breathwork session and I could feel I think there's there may be like an added auditory effect to like like hearing your breath more like does something to like calm you down like way quicker than usual so typically in a breathwork session like i'll start out and i'll just like i'm focused on my breath but i can also notice oh my mind's like really like chattery it's like i can kind of have more awareness towards it and then as the breathwork session goes on i watch the mind kind of calm down and just be more tranquil and whenever we did a group session with the frequency breathers it was almost like immediately like hearing my breath so loud and the frequency that's playing too whether it's like you have it plugged in to a battery or to like actual like music like frequencies going in i could just feel like just a subtle effect and with the audio it was just like amplified like how breathwork already kind of it brings you more into yourself and a deeper awareness of like what's real for you right now. It was like almost like immediately I felt like in with my body. It also just like having something in your nose. Like there's just more breath awareness, period. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like I kind of like it. It like opens up my nostrils. And then also there's crystals in it. And I, I like had a nice chat with you whenever we had like our photo shoot like um about having crystals in there it's like the more that you wear it the more powerful it gets to wear it because the crystals are being charged with the frequency and with the intention of your breath so like every breath you take if you breathe with intention like um how you you share like with this breath i'm accepting more love or more gratitude or whatever you're accepting more abundance it's like charging that crystals in here with that frequency and then every time you inhale it's like carrying that energy into your breath and into like the world like that's what you're giving <laughs> so <laughs> 
so powerful. <laughs> and I love to wear, I love to wear these um, going to sleep. Like it calms me down. Like I said, the auditory effect. If I, if I notice that I'm kind of like being frantic or I'm not as uh, level as I'd like to be. <laughs> um it just it's it, it's so fast so fast i'm in my body and i'm like huh i'm alive i'm here it's, mm. yeah powerful and how many months has it been i think what the retreat was november right yeah yeah so like two whole months now yeah wow that was in november <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it feels like longer ago or <laughs> closer. I don't know. Time. Time. <laughs> time. Time. Yeah, you're going to be in Egypt soon. Yeah, I'll be going in March, March 13th. Wow. wow. Are you are you going to be bringing the frequency breathers for like people at at that retreat? Uh at that retreat most likely not because I'll be packing, I'll be packing really light because I want to mainly bring the scalers. Shoot, if I got to wear just one, one pair of kimonos just for the scales, I don't mind doing that. So as a pack, really, really light. And, um, but for, but for the next retreat I have in February, I'm going to be having the frequency breathers. Yeah. I wanted to keep that on the down low, but yeah, everyone will be getting, uh, their own frequency <laughs> breathers there. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's super powerful, super potent. <laughs> and it's, I, I wore it at the airport too, and it worked. Oh yeah, how, how was that experience? Everyone's yeah. a little bit mixed. Some people, they had people that were like, more like, I don't know, like power hungry than others, depending on like the flight attendants and people you run into the airport. I kept them in and I literally said, <laughs> I had, uh, what you you inspired me you said like like mask uh <laughs> mask injury <laughs> i said i had mask injury for, with a straight face like like this this is what i use to like clear my breathing passage and i think they thought that it was some type of like i don't know what they thought but they they just like kind of left me alone <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, Ron, Ron I, it was Ron that came up with that. He, that was genius, like mask injury. Because no, no, seriously, mask injury is a thing, people. Go Google it. It's a thing. It's yeah. it's a real thing. I, I thought it was a real thing until he said that, and like <laughs> <laughs> the people took me serious though. And it was it was curious. Like I had seen other people in the airport that had oxygen tanks. Like they were what. Tanks. They, they had oxygen tanks, but they were still wearing a mask over their oxygen things. And I'm just like, what a weird fractal to reside in. <laughs> like, this is just getting more funny by the day. And I guess I'm like, it too, because I'm on like <laughs> a weird opposite. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think... Um, I know, I know in Texas, they don't, they don't really force you too much to wear it, but did you have to, was there any point in time where you had to go to a place where they did force it? Do you have the word instead? Um, there's no place around here that, that makes you, that makes you wear a mask. Um, sometimes whenever I was in, uh, New York, I was in Manhattan, I visited. Oh my yeah. <laughs> and uh that was an interesting experience but i would wear it uh i wore it a bit on the subway and um it was interesting like people would stare at me a lot and <laughs> i'm sure you probably get that too with the yeah. pyramid and other things you have going on but people would stare at me a lot and then i had a couple times maybe three or four times where people would stare at me and i would just be breathing i would be like doing breath work like people could hear me breathing and um like they would stare at me and then they would take their masks off like it was it was almost like like they were just waiting for someone else so like they wouldn't like i felt like maybe they thought like oh people are looking at her They're, they don't care about like i don't know but <laughs> well, it was cool to see it was really cool gotta um, gotta remind them of 
like man breath yes you need to breathe <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and i do think uh probably one of my favorite parts about wearing these is is the auditory aspect because if i can hear my breath then it's a lot easier for me to catch myself with the breath pattern like i'm not going to be wearing these and breathing like super shallow and fast it's just not going to happen because i'll hear it and i'm like hold on hold on hold on <laughs> slow it down yeah it's just like why why am i going so fast <laughs> I flew to Finland and wore an old Soviet mask. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't accept it. <laughs> well, they didn't accept it. <laughs> what? Wouldn't, wouldn't a gas mask be more effective? Yeah. Uh, you wore a gas mask. I, that's the first one I've, I've seen with that one. Oh, wow. <laughs> I remember, I remember when all this first started, I seen people in Miami, actually, because I was living in Miami at the time, in, like, hazmat suits at Whole Foods, and I was... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that, that's wild. <laughs> so, um, uh, let's tap into a mini breathwork session before my time dies again, and I, there goes the hearts. So a lot of people, yeah, we're pumped for it. And I had one question. I already answered that. All right, cool. All right. So what do you feel like doing today? What's, what's your day like today? What's, uh, what are you working on? What's, I don't know. Yeah. What, what's going on? <laughs> um i was just reading a book i did a pattern this morning of like the in between sixes that's one of my favorites okay in between sixes we could do that we could do or, that or nines i don't know what's your vibe <laughs> i do want to also acknowledge maybe some people are really brandly new here so that's another thing uh we can do in between threes we can easily do that okay so guys uh, you can do this while you're walking, do this while you're jogging, do this going to sleep. If this is like your first time getting into breath work and, and hopefully this will maybe an eye opening. Oh, do you want to share your experience with, with breath dojo? Cause we have one coming up. Yeah. With breath dojo. So it's like every three hours we're, we're meeting and we're, we're doing breath work. We're, uh, just sharing the energy between like everyone in the breath fam. I know you do like one-on-one -on -one breath dojos too you offer um, With the group energy. It's kind of like It feels almost like a mini retreat like a day retreat because you're like meeting up with all these people who have a similar intention and It's like different styles of breath work. So you're getting so much value in that one day and you can really like um, the contrast is just undeniable between days that a day where you do breath work consistently throughout the whole day and in ways where like it's not it doesn't feel forced or like um, boring because it's like different breath patterns every time um, that versus days with no breath work it's just, like, it, it's just you can really at least for me I could really notice the difference in like the reverence that i had for my day and the intention that i would put into all the activities in between those sessions because i knew like my day was kind of like um chopped up with like flowing around the breath which i feel like is is optimal it's definitely optimal and for people that want the one-on-one -on -one breath dojo or these you can use my <laughs> link <laughs> oh yeah she has a she has a link that uh <laughs> Maybe discounts, right? There's yeah. a discounted link. You can use my link for 10% off. It's in my bio. <laughs> I don't Bye. throw that in there. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do in between threes, guys. Uh, let's, let's incorporate some flex breathing in there. So in betweens, what do I mean by in betweens? Uh, before we do that, well, yeah, let's go on the mechanics first and then we'll get into it. So in between, it's a regular inhale, regular exhale, and then that is an in-between breath. So it's in between regular breaths, and then you take a regular inhale, 
and then you're going to exhale three just like that and when we're exhaling three or when we're exhaling the regular breaths uh what you can do is squeeze your hands together on the side they can be on your lap that's perfectly fine or and when the inhale happens you can open your hands so i'll demonstrate uh, a quick little mini session so regular inhale regular exhale regular inhale and the threes regular inhale exhale threes i'm sorry regular exhale and then regular inhale exhale three so we're literally doing that back and forth back and forth and then i'm going to say relax so before we start i want everyone to set their intention with the breath find your breath right now what are you breathing into life what are you accepting more of with every breath you take you give you explore Breathe that in, breathe out your intention. And we're gonna start with the inhale. You can have your hands up, whatever feels comfortable. It can be on your side, whatever feels comfortable. But I'm just gonna have my hands up just for showing purposes, help guide people. And we're gonna start with the inhale in three, two, one, let's go. Exhale threes. Regular inhale. Regular exhale. Regular inhale. Exhale threes. Regular exhale. Regular inhale. Exhale threes. Regular inhale. Regular exhale. Regular inhale. Exhale threes. Regular inhale. Regular exhale. Regular inhale. Exhale threes. Regular inhale, regular exhale, regular inhale, exhale threes, now relax and breathe silently where you can't hear the breath at all. You can put your left hand on your heart, your right hand on your stomach. And breathe silently where you can't hear the breath at all. Deeper and deeper exhales. round and this is going to be the final round and something to add on to this final round is when you squeeze and you exhale i want you guys to also squeeze everything you go to the bathroom with down there 
only on your exhales. And when you get into the resting period again with the silence, you can let go of the squeezing sensation, really just focus on your stomach going back and forth. So hands up or hands out, whatever feels comfortable. I'm gonna start with the inhale in three, two, one, let's go. Regular exhale. Squeeze everything down there. Let go on the inhale. Exhale threes. Let go into the silence. Left hand on the heart, right hand on the stomach. Swallow, swallow your saliva. Thank you all for sharing the breath. Now a great a great tip. Um, you guys can do that while walking, and then during the resting period, if you're walking, you can just be still during the resting period, and just if you're like walking, you're standing up. Obviously, you can just have your left hand on your heart, your right hand on the stomach. Be still, and that also builds contrast. That's the beauty of contrast. You can feel uh, the difference, especially when you're walking, you're doing the breath work, and then you rest at a certain point. You're in stillness and you feel the contrast and the energy going back and forth. And then you can go again, next round, and then you go down into the calm down session, be still, boom. So that's a great tip uh, for you guys out there. And I hope, I pray that this shows you uh, breath work in real time. Do you wanna share your experiences, uh, breath work in real time and how, cause you've been part of Breath Family. We've done one-on-ones. Uh, your your experience with alchemy and breath work utilizing it in real time beyond the sit down session. Yeah, I feel like for my journey, the biggest blessing about implementing breath work in real time, the way that you teach it and the way that you just do it yourself, even like being around you, I got to see that, you know, like you don't just talk about it, you embody it and you share like from that space. Um, is before I found uh, you and your style of breath work, um, I was doing like the sit down session, like in every morning I would have a routine like that where I would take like 40 minutes or an hour. But some days, like I, whether my schedule was busier or whatever happened, whatever maybe excuses I came up with, um, I wouldn't do it. And then there would be this feeling of like, maybe like guilt, like, or mm -hmm. shame 
doing enough or something like that versus the alchemy breath work and practicing it real time it kind of allowed me to give myself permission to just be present like oh like I haven't been like breathed consciously so like I can just do it right now if I'm like washing the dishes and I can like do a couple rounds and then just be still for a second or if I'm reading a book I can implement breath work like while I'm reading the book or I could just go for a walk and do it like that if I'm feeling like like my body feels like it wants to move but I want to be more at peace and incorporate more tranquility into my day it kind of uh is like a permission slip to like do do what I want to do if I want to paint but add more intention add more consciousness and like be more aware of my breath while I'm doing the day-to-day -day tasks and like if I find myself like oh I have like five minutes where I'm just like I'm waiting for someone or I'm in between tasks like okay this is a great time to to you know just have a few seconds because what we just did now that was quick but that shifts your entire day just like that fire fire thank you sister for coming on thank you for being thank you for actually doing it and uh, feeling it for yourself rather than me just talking 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 <laughs> uh, it's it's been a real honor and, and pleasure and definitely check out her artwork I have some artwork behind me right now that's uh, still up there <laughs> uh, yeah so definitely check out her art uh, level mind L V L M N D and <laughs> have a breathful experience if you got if you guys got anything out of this share it with a friend uh share it on your story if you're having the replay and thank you all for sharing breath consciousness in this one moment in this one embodiment peace thank you so much